So whether you're shipping out boxes, you know, collections for breedings, or whether you're receiving the boxes and doing your own breedings in-house, for the past year or two, I've been using a semen warmer. I'm going to explain the importance of this because I really think this is helpful for anyone who's doing breedings, whether you're getting the boxes sent to you or whether you're shipping out semen for breedings. This has been a helpful tool. Stay tuned. I don't think you're going to want to miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. We're going to be talking about semen warmer. What's going on, boy fam? What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Iron Bulls, bringing you another episode of British Hats. So today, I wanted to talk about semen warmers. I've been using these for probably about the past year, going on two years, I think. And it's been extremely helpful. I'm going to explain why. I'm going to show you guys why right now, because actually we have a collection that we're going to take a look at. So with the semen warmer, what it essentially does is it, it warms up whatever you put in it, actually, to be honest. It, it warms up anything that you put inside of it. And the, the importance is I know I've done a video and I and I've talked about how if I get a box that I don't warm it up, I throw it right in the female. Put it in the syringe and throw it in the female. You technically don't have to warm up the semen, right? This is a little conflicting thing. You don't have to warm up the semen because of the fact that um, if you're throwing it right into the female, her body's going to essentially warm it up. And there's articles from doctors of veterinary medicine that say that um, to a degree, if you're warming it up just for the sake of warming it up, that semen is actually losing energy. So if you're not going to do an evaluation on it, then it's ideal. You can just go ahead and throw it in the female. Um, the box that I had in that video came from a good friend of mine. I actually had packaged up the semen myself um, and brought it here. So it's a kind of a different situation. This particular situation is it's a box that we have no idea who it's coming from. And we want to take a look to make sure that it made a safe travel. That's ideally why you would want to throw out the semen. Some people think you need to throw it out before you throw it in the female. The only time you're going to throw it out is essentially if you're going to wake up the semen to take a look at it under the microscope. If you're not going to look at it under the microscope, then you probably should just throw it in the female. That's just my opinion. So anyway, that's what you want to do. And that's what we've been doing for quite some time now. We warm up the semen and take a look under the microscope before we throw it inside our dogs. So we sell the, the Breeders Hack semen warmer. I wanna show you guys um, how to essentially use it and how, how helpful it is. Cause I don't just use this for semen actually. I use it for something else as well too. I wanna talk about that in a little bit. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, and what's great about it is it's portable. So there's a power button right in the back. You're gonna turn that on, right? Once you turn it on, now what you're gonna wanna do is set it. So you hit the set button and now you can increase or decrease. There's a minus and a plus sign. So what I like to do is leave it around 39 degrees uh, Celsius. This is set to Celsius. So I leave it at like 38, 39 degrees. That's approximately really close to like body temperature. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to warm the semen to body temperature. Then the next thing that you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is hit set again. And when it's bleaking on the other side, I try to set it to the highest as possible. So I set it to 300 seconds, which I believe is approximately five minutes. So even when this timer goes off, um, I still put it in for like another two minutes. We're going to warm the semen for about seven minutes. So I just set it to the longest time I can and then count two minutes after that. So now that it's on, right? So now we have our temperature set and we have our time set. You can press on and that timer will start going off. Um, we don't want the timer to go off quite yet because if you can look, it's not at the temperature that we need it to be at yet. So if you look, it's actually warming itself up. That's why it's red. Once it's at the temperature that we need it to be at, it will turn green. So the only other thing that I tell people is obviously it comes with a power cord. So I'm able to charge this thing um, up and I can use it, you know, mobile. For the most part, I always leave it plugged in, to be honest. But what then I'll do is I'll take this cup, right, of water, and I actually just fill it with water. There we go. It's filled with water. So now that it's filled with water, what I want it to do is essentially, I'm going to take the tubes that are in here, stick it in the warmer, and then once, I'll just wait. Once the warmer is at the temperature that it needs to be at, once this is green, then I'll take the tubes out, put it inside the warmer, and then go ahead and then set the timer for seven minutes. Whether you wanna set it on your phone or set it on the timer here, doesn't matter. Um, so approximately what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna let it, uh, warm up to the appropriate temperature and then we're going to go ahead and take the semen out and start taking a look at everything all right so while we're waiting for the warmer to warm up you know hot enough to, that we could go ahead and take 
the semen and go ahead and put it inside of it. I did want to talk about something else, all right? One, one of the most important reasons why I use this thing, believe it or not, is because of the fact that of when I'm using extender, right? So when I'm shipping out semen for people, when I'm shipping out collections, right? If you see this extender here, um, typically I use the semen warmer to actually get the extender to body temperature, to get it to be where I need it to be. The reason being is because of the fact that if you use extender, and this is any extender, if you add extender to semen um, and, and it's too cold, it will shock the semen and kill it. It will be completely dead and the collection will be no good. So um, you really want, when the semen comes out, it's coming out body temperature around 38, 39 degrees Celsius. Where this here, if you're taking it right out of the out of the fridge, it's going to be freezing. It's going to be super cold. It's going to kill the semen. So what you're going to want to do, and this is what I do all the time, is I literally will just take the extender, take out what I need, put it in a vial here like this, right? Take out what I need. And then what I'll go ahead and do, and even if I take out a little extra of what I need, that's okay. So then what I'll do is put it in a vial like this, right? We have our extender. And then I'll just go ahead now and dip this right inside the warmer. And then yet again, I'll let it sit for about seven to 10 minutes. You know, what you'll, what you'll start to notice and what you'll start to see is there'll be bubbles. It'll, it'll start kind of like bubbling inside the extender because of the fact that it's, it's, it's getting warm. So that's typically what I do. And then I just kind of close the top. So there's the water in there. There's the top, close it. Make sure you don't move it around or anything because there is water in here and that's it. So then I'll allow the extender to warm up to body temp obviously the warmer isn't it's not at the temperature we need it to be at quite yet but i'm just using that as an example and that's what i use all the time because i see so many people who they'll take their extender stick it in their pocket stick it in their bra and they're just guesstimating they're just hoping that it gets to a warm enough temperature to be able to be added to the semen where for me i don't like to take any chances i don't like to leave any guesswork what i like to do is I like to know exact numbers and science. So for me, me knowing that inside this warmer, it's 38 or 39, 39 degrees Celsius, and I'm putting the extender in there. So when I'm pulling the dog, it's around the same temperature. I don't have to worry about temperature shock. So the semen should be looking phenomenal and amazing. And yet again, like I tell you guys, make sure you use a good extender, not like the dairy extenders. You want like something like this or like the mini tube extenders, either the Hulk or the mini tube extender. And that's essentially like I use that a humongous amount of time because like I said, I don't like to guesstimate. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do all this now, put it inside the warmer, and then I'll go collect the dog and do everything I need to do. So by the time this is done and this is ready, I can add the semen, uh, the extender to the semen and the collections always come out phenomenal. And I've even had uh, collections that I shipped to vets and even the vets were like just amazed with how well the quality of the semen looked simply because I wasn't guessing what temperature I warmed my extender to. So that's just one other reason or how I use the semen warmer. Um, I heard of some people even using it to like warm the milk for puppies, you know, so hey, you could get creative, right? Cause you can set whatever temperature you want. So anyway, I think our time is almost up. We're almost there. Um, it's warming. We just need a few more seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna add our semen. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now with the semen. So as you guys can see, we're literally, after waiting a few minutes, we're right at 39.5. We're at 39.4. So as you can see, once it hits that 39.5, it's gonna actually turn green and it's gonna actually most likely make a beeping sound. That's how you know that it's at the temperature you want it to be at. Like I said, guys, for me, I like to be around 38 to like 39. You know, that though that's really my sweet spot. Oh, would you look at that? It's green now. <laughs> so as you can see, it turned green, meaning that we're finally at the temperature that we want to be at. So what I'm going to quickly do is do this. We're going to take this collection right out of the box, right? So this was shipped to us. And what I'm going to do is before I even think about inseminating the dog with this, right? Before I even think about inseminating the dog, what I'm going to quickly do is take out my tube, take out a very small portion of amount. I can't tell you exactly how much to take. I just take like an eyedropper amount, right? With my micro pipette. Take out an eyedropper amount. And now I'll take that and put it in a separate tube, right? So it's going to go right here in this tube like this. And all we did was take literally like a drop. All we did was take a drop. So I'm going to cap 
the entire collection, the original collection, the rest is gonna go back in here, right? I'm gonna put it right back in the box. And then the collection that we have now, the, the eyedropper amount that we took, we're gonna go ahead and now put that in our semen warmer. So we'll pop the top off this, go ahead and pop it inside our semen warmer. Uh, there's obviously water in here, as you guys saw earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and close the top. And now I'll go ahead and set the timer for the full extent, which is like 300 seconds, which is about like five minutes. So even after the timer goes off, I still set a timer for like another like two minutes. I usually try to go for like seven minutes. That's generally the sweet spot once it's inside the warmer. And then once it's inside the warmer, you can go ahead and put it on our microscope and take a look and see how the collection looks because we properly woke it up. Otherwise, if we just take it right out of the box and put it on the microscope slide, they're not gonna look that great because they weren't properly woken up. So that's the key. With the semen warmer, you wanna be able to warm up the semen so that you can do a proper evaluation under the microscope when the semen's properly woken up. And that's how you properly wake up the semen. So we're gonna give this a couple of minutes. We're gonna let it warm up and wake up. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it under the microscope. As you can see, the timer just went off. So it's been the entire amount of time. We actually timed it for five minutes. The timer went off and then we had to time it again for another, um, at the time it again for another two minutes. So now that our collection has been sitting in here for a total of seven minutes, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take our collection right back out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this under the microscope. And now all I'm going to do is focus in on it now. And would you look at that? Beautiful. Swimming all over the place, going crazy. That's exactly what you wanna see. And that's exactly how it's gonna look um, you know, when you wake up the semen. So we know by looking at this on the microscope screen and seeing, can you can you catch that? Can you see that? It looks pretty good, right? You're gonna see all these sperm cells swimming all over the place, look at that. all over the place. That's what you wanna see, you know? Let me see if I could actually go to the other focus on this side and maybe you'll get even more. Yeah, see, look at that, all those little dots on the screen. So essentially, like I said, guys, that's what you're looking for. You want to wake up the semen, and when you wake up the semen, it should be going crazy all over the screen. If it's dead, you know, then there was something wrong. If you properly woke it up, and it's still not moving motile, then most likely the person who shipped you the semen may have accidentally killed it, or temperature shocked it, or did the issue, like I told you guys, with the whole adding the extender to the collection. The list goes on. So just for, just for you know sake just so you guys can see what i'm gonna do actually is i'm gonna take this box out right and i'm gonna take some some of the the sample that was actually not woken up right so we're gonna take a portion of the sample now that's not woken up and we're gonna put that underneath the screen just so you guys can see the difference it's probably going to be a lot less motile meaning it's not going to be moving around as fast and if i was to just take it straight out of the box and put it underneath the microscope uh, I may be under the impression that the, the sample is not that great, but I'll show you. So now this next sample is going to be the sample. Look at that. See, because they're cold, look at them, barely moving. I mean, they're moving, but not like the other collection because they're cold, because they're chilled, because they're in a preserved state versus let's go back to the other one. Look, look at this. It's the other one again. Just to go back, look at that, going crazy all over the screen, crazy all over the screen. So this is just a prime example of if we would have taken it, you know, cold right out of the box and put it underneath the screen, I may, if, if I was to get this from a collection and I didn't warm this up properly, I went back to the other one now. This is the, the one that's still cold. I might've been under the impression that, hey, he didn't send me that great of semen. You know, that's what my impression would be if I didn't wake it up and throw it out properly. So like I told you guys, 38 degrees to 39 degrees Celsius on this thing. You want to let it sit for once it hits the green, you know that it's at the proper temperature. Let it sit for about seven minutes. Take a small collection out, put it on the microscope. And then at that point, you properly woke up the semen. And that'll really tell you the quality of semen that you're putting inside the dog. And that's what this is all about. Getting dogs pregnant and having our puppies and litters and so on and so forth. So if you have any other questions, you know, make sure you guys check out the website, breedershacks.com. You know, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, all those things. We're happy to help answer your questions. 
And um, yeah, like I said, I've been using one of these for quite some time now to properly look at the the, the, the sperm when it's shipped to me, or to throw out the se uh, to, to to throw out the extender when I'm shipping out semen. And this is, I mean, I gotta say, this has been a lifesaver. So anyway, guys, as always, I hope this information is helpful. I hope it's useful, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of British Hacks. All right.